What's up, Safe Moon Army? I'm making this video to help clarify a lot of the misinformation going around Reddit and stock tweets regarding how reflections and burns work, and to help give some mathematical analysis on the price and supply of Safe Moon to help us give some hints at what we're likely to see in the future. But for starters, there's just far too many incorrect theories going around as to how Safe Moon's burns and reflections work, how and, and how and when the tax is applied. There's also going around that pancake swap users do not get the correct amount of reflections due to more and more users joining other exchanges, but that's also incorrect. But to start, let's review one of SafeMoon's primary functions, the, the transfer function. I'm a software developer and I have a good understand, understanding of the Solidity programming language, and after reading through SafeMoon's source code, it is pretty clear cut how this function works. To start, there is no difference between a buy, a sell, or a transfer on the blockchain. There is no buying and selling. There's only transferring from one wallet to another. What users and people consider to be buying is transferring from an exchange wallet to a personal wallet. And what user, users consider to be selling is the opposite, a transfer from a personal wallet back to an exchange like PancakeSwap or BitMart. Every time this transfer function is called, which is always, you have to call it, to buy anything, to sell anything, to transfer anything, there's a 10% tax taken out of that initial transaction. So if Alice gifts Bob $100 in SafeMoon, Bob would only receive $90. That $10 that Bob does not receive gets broken up and split into two halves. $5, 5% of that gets sent to liquidity, which I'll go over in another video because that's a topic in itself. The other $5, the other 5% of the transaction is split up amongst all of the holders. We refer to the, this uh, split up as the reflections and that's what we'll be diving deeper into. But wait, what about the burn? Isn't there some burn function that burns the coins? No, there is no burn function. That does not exist in the code. Instead, there's a burn address, which is a wallet, just like any wallet. But the only difference is this wallet does not have a private key associated with it. And for people new to cryptography or blockchain, it just basically makes it impossible to ever access those funds or send them anywhere else. This wallet can't be hacked because what, what, what hackers are trying to get is your private key and this wallet has no private key so that's the end of that. But this burn wallet does count as a holder so it also gets a share of their reflections and this is critical. How much of a share? Right now almost half. At the time of making this video the burn wallet has 416 trillion tokens in it which is 41.6% of the entire supply of one quadrillion safe moon. A common misconception is that the more holders we have, the less reflections we receive. This is false. This would only be true if the reflections we received were the same and never changed from holder to holder, but that is not the case. The bigger of a bag you have, the more safe moon you are rewarded with. Since the burn wallet owns 41.6% of the supply, it will eat, burn, whatever you want to call it, 41.6 of our reflections or $2.08 out of that $5 that was split up, out of, uh, split up off of Alice's gift to Bob. Our top whale, for instance, owns 27 trillion tokens. He has 2.7% of the supply of SafeMoon, so he will receive 2.7% of $5, or 14 cents out of that transaction. What this means is that the burn wallet, like everyone else's wallet, is getting bigger and bigger over time. Every second, actually. Relatively soon, the burn wallet is going to have 990 trillion tokens in it, and that'll be eating 99% of every reflection. That's going to leave us, our poor SafeMoon army, with only 1% out of the 5% we once loved. Isn't this bad? No, it's not bad at all. The reflections we receive will not change or slow down. Ex ex exactly, it's the opposite. They're going to speed up, and everyone gets this wrong. The reflections you receive are based on two things and two factors only the volume, and the number of safe moon you own. As long as you don't sell, your reflections in US dollars will only grow as long as the volume grows or stays constant because your safe moon bag is consistently increasing. What changes is the reflections in safe moon tokens themselves, and this is due to the price of safe moon at each given moment during any transaction. The value in USD will stay the same or increase, but the arbitrary number of safe moon you receive will change depending on price. Whether you receive a million today or 200,000 the next day, that's based on price and volume. Your market share, this doesn't change. This is described as that percent of the total supply you own. And total supply, not circulating supply, so it's one quadrillion. The market share of the burn wallet is again 41.6% because it owns 
416 trillion out of the 1 quadrillion tokens. So to calculate your market share, you take the number of Seifun you own, and you divide by 1 quadrillion, 1 followed by 15 zeros. So if you want to calculate how, what your reflections would be given a, under a given volume and a given number of safe moon, it can be calculated as following. You take 5% of the volume, so that is 0 0.05 times volume times your market share. And your market share you can rewrite as the number of safe moon you have divided by 1 quadrillion. So that gives us a nice neat equation. Reflections equals 0 0.05 times safe moon times volume divided by 1 quadrillion. Now remember, this is the same exact equation we used for the burn wallet. We apply this to every transaction that, that occurs on a safe moon contract. Now let's rewrite this a little bit. Let's put that 0.05 into the denominator, and we get a much nicer equation of reflections equals volume times safe moon divided by 20 quadrillion, 2 with 16 zeros. By rewriting the denominator, we can see that reflections is nothing more than volume times safe moon multiplied by a constant, 1 over 20 quadrillion. That part doesn't change. But what's beautiful about this is it tells us exactly what we need to know. It shows the direct linear relationship between reflections, volume, and safe moon. If either, if either volume or your safe moon bag increases, reflections do too, linearly. To calculate, for instance, how much volume do I need to make x thousand dollars in reflections, just do some al algebra. Isolate volume, substitute in whatever, however many thousand dollars you want for reflections, and solve. Solve for volume. Okay, we've said a lot. To recap, all this is no, this is good, we have our equations. L let's apply this to what we see day to day. So the standard volume we've seen lately is around $50 million daily. And to calculate what a person with 1 billion tokens receives from this $50 million, let's just substitute it into our equation. So we put in 50 million for volume and 1 billion for safe moon, and that gives us with a neat answer of 2.5. What is this number? This is the value in US dollars of your daily reflections. If you have 1 billion coins and the daily volume is $50 million, you get $2.50. How many safe moon is this? Well, that depends on the price. So let's divide our answer by the current price of safe moon. At the time of writing, it's five zeros with a five at the end. And our two dollars and fifty cents is five hundred thousand safe moon or half a million safe moon. So if you have a billion safe moon and the daily volume is fifty million dollars, you should expect to see five hundred thousand safe moon at this current price, which is about right. I personally have two and a half billion safe moon. And I have been seeing about one and a quarter million safe moon per day. And yeah, no, no questions there. Obviously, I was receiving more near the all-time high when the volume was bigger. But when it's around that 50 million mark, about a million a day seems right to me. At our all-time high, our volume reached as high as $500 million. For a top-tier coin, this is pitiful. Volumes in the billions are common for most coins. And I believe the difficulty in buying and selling safe moon has a lot to do with this gap. In the future, I believe we can easily see volumes of 1 billion plus. Let's see how much money that is. So if we substitute in values 1 billion for volume and 1 billion coins, we get 50 as our answer. $50 per day per billion coins that you own. Me sitting at 2.5 billion, that would net me $125 per day or about $43,000 a year just for holding SafeMoon. And $1 billion in volume is kind of the floor, in my opinion, if all these things come to fruition that they're promising. Thinking, thinking so, bigger, as one does, what if the volume ever reaches Doge levels? Doge is the king of uh, shit coins, so why not compare ourselves to that? That seems reasonable and not too far-fetched. So Doge has seen, in its, in its peak, volumes around $20 billion, which is a lot, I'll give you that. But I believe that SafeMoon can easily reach $20 billion in volume daily with the exchange, the wallet, debit cards, purchase through USD via Simplex, and if any of that Gambia shit ever pays off. So if we reach Doge level volumes, substituting in 20 billion SafeMoon, 1 billion, uh, sorry, 1 billion SafeMoon, $20 billion, we get $1,000 per day per billion SafeMoon that you own, or myself personally would be getting $2,500 per day or $912,000 per year. This is ridiculous. This is, it doesn't make sense. It, the math just blows my mind. And I think people are starting to realize this.
Okay, so exactly how much safe moon that is, it depends on the price, which fluctuates, we know this. But what's certain is the USD amount that you get relative to your market share and the volume. And the whales know this. The whales with 1 trillion coins are earning right now $50,000 per day just for holding, per trillion. Which is a million dollars per day if it reaches doge levels, per trillion coins. Our top whale would be making $27 million per day. That's why he's held through this thick and thin. He has over $200 million in safe moon. Well, did at our all-time high. He's just kept on holding. He knows this. Smart money knows this. Once the public can realize how much of a hidden gem this is, there will be no stopping the demand for safe moon, and that's when we will see these exponential gains. I don't even know if I'll sell then. The, the daily income that we could receive from this is unlike anything I've ever seen. And I think you should stock up now because once the price does explode, getting these millions or billions of safe moon won't be achievable anymore unless you're already filthy rich. Right now it's only, what, like eight, seven thousand dollars for a billion safe moon? All right, I don't know. I think it's going to explode. And but quickly, let me go over my honest price predictions for safe moon, giving a modest, likely, and moon prediction, each with dramatically decreased probabilities for end of year and in the end of three years. But before I say my predictions, I'd like to explain market cap quickly. Market cap is a term used to describe the valuation of something what the entire market is worth for a particular asset. This value for cryptocurrency is calculated by multiplying the number of coins in circulation by the existing price, giving you a total value of what all SafeMoon coins, for instance, would be worth collectively. There are roughly 584 trillion SafeMoon coins in circulation at the time of making this video, and the price is around 0005, giving us a market cap of slightly over 3.5 billion. The price of an asset is arbitrary. It does not matter. Saying Bitcoin is worth more than Ethereum means nothing when comparing the two, since there are over five times as many Ethereum coins as Bitcoins in circulation. Market cap is the way to rank these currencies and these assets. Again, it, is a it accurately describes their overall value. Sorry for any experienced market traders watching. Safeman is a lot of first-time investors, so I want to clarify that first. So again, market cap, calculated by multiplying price times supply. And we can rewrite this equation, like any equation, and we can get a better understanding of how price is inversely calculated. By dividing both sides of the equation by supply, we can see that price is equal to the market cap of a currency divided by its supply. And there's a lot of conclusions and exciting avenues to explore from this point when talking about SafeMoon, because not only does the market cap have tons of room to grow, but the supply is constantly shrinking. And as we see by our equation, when the supply shrinks and the market cap stays the same, the price only can go up. What's fun about SafeMoon is we can talk futuristically when we have X trillion tokens, because it will happen at some point in the future. The burn wallet is eating tokens at an exponential rate. And this poses some really fun hypotheticals when thinking about how long I should really hold for and what price predictions are actually possible. Okay, so starting. So again, for my end of year price predictions, I have three categories modest, likely, and moon. Modest being uh, the modest approach, likely being what I believe will probably happen, and the moon being what I would want to have happened, but I'm not going to throw all my eggs in that basket. Um, okay, so for my modest approach, I believe we will have a market cap of around $15 billion, a supply of $500 trillion, and a price that, that would leave us with a price of 00003, or a 600% change from right now. The likely solution, I think, is that we are going to have a $40 billion market cap. We'll burn a lot more supply down to $460 trillion, and we'll get a price of 00008, or a 16 times jump from where we are right now. Okay, and what I would love to see, and may or may not happen, it's not out of the realm of possibility, would be a $250 billion market cap. Everything goes well. Investors see this as a competitor to Bitcoin. The tangles announced... Everything just goes mayhem. $50 billion, $250 billion market cap, $360 trillion supply, all that volume burnt, that, burnt, burnt those tokens to a crisp. That leaves us with a price of 000694, or a 138 times jump from where we are right now. 000694. That would make anyone with over $2 billion safe moon a multimillionaire. Okay. 
That's my end of year price predictions. Now I'm gonna do my three year price predictions for modest, likely, and moon. My three year modest prediction would be a $20 billion market cap, 160 trillion supply, leaving us with a price of 0001 or 25x what we, where we are from now. That's about a hundredth of a penny. Our, my uh, likely uh, prediction in three years would be a $100 billion market cap and a $100 trillion in supply, leaving us with a price of 0 0.001, or one-tenth of a penny, or a 200x jump from here. And my moon prediction for three years, it matches Bitcoin as a store of value, huge global support, used throughout Africa. If all these came true, we could potentially see a $1 trillion market cap for SafeMoon. And if, say, if we can burn that supply down to 50 trillion coins left, that would leave us with a price of 2 cents, or 4,000x from here. And this isn't even that unbelievable, because we've seen trillion dollar market caps before. We've seen bigger ones for stores of value, Bitcoin. This is part of the reason why I'm so bullish on SafeMoon. This is why I believe that we could see a penny. It is possible. Not this year, but in the years to come there's no way we can break above a trillion dollar market cap with the with the way the market is right now this will take time short term though i'm still bullish long term i'm even more bullish i believe a trillion dollar market cap could be possible but even if it's not we don't need it over time we will lower the supply to where we'll get the prices we want it's just a waiting game it's who has stronger hands but thank you guys but thank you guys for watching. This was my first YouTube video ever, so if you wouldn't mind leaving a like and a comment and uh, subscribing, I will be posting a lot more SafeMoon content and uh, cryptocurrency, altcoin content in general. My next video is going to cover why the prices differ between exchanges, and uh, it's going to squash the FUD about people using exchanges and those reflections not counting toward users on PancakeSwap, because that is false. So thank you and stay tuned.